TCL have just announced their latest TVs, including a flagship QD mini LED TV, which promises 5,000 dimming zones and over 5,000 nits. And here's everything that you guys need to know. Hey guys, Louis here from Smart Home Sounds and welcome back to the channel. Now this year has already been a big one for TV technology and new releases and you guys have been loving the TV reviews lately so thanks as always for the support and don't worry we've got a lot more TV reviews and comparisons on the way for you all but we do also like to keep you guys up to date with the very latest from the industry and today we've got news from TV manufacturer TCL. Now we're always very excited to see which direction TV brands are taking and from TCL's announcement today it's clear that the mission has been big bigger and brighter, bigger screen sizes and brighter models. Now, of course, we've just reviewed the hugely popular LG G3 with MLA technology, which has been the brightest OLED that we've ever seen. But it sounds like these new models from TCL might be taking the top spot for the brightest TVs yet. For those not familiar, TCL offer a variety of products, including TVs, soundbars, smartphones, and tablets. Now they've been growing over the past few years. And while we are yet to review our first TCL TV, we have been seeing more and more requests from you guys and have been keeping an eye on their recent releases. Back at CES earlier this year, we saw TCL announce their more affordable and entry-level S-series models, as well as their more premium line, the Q-series, which consists of the Q6, Q7 with full array local dimming, and the QM8 mini LED TV. But we're back with some more new releases from the brand, as well as the introduction of some pretty impressive technology when it comes to this new line of mini LED models. So kicking it off then, TCL have announced what they are terming an R&D masterpiece, their dual 5000 mini LED technology, which offers 5000 local dimming zones and over 5000 nits of peak brightness, which is a serious jump up from what we've seen from other manufacturers. Now they've said that this advancement in performance has been achieved in two ways. Firstly, with some major breakthroughs with the mini LED six crystal chip, which can apply a more even and tighter design, providing a more uniform light emission, as well as a 27.5% increase in brightness and 30.2% increase in energy efficiency, which is huge. Now the chip also allows for high energy efficiency while reducing flicker for better eye protection, which is important for larger and brighter screens. Now on top of that, TCL have also introduced something that they are calling Lighthouse Luminance Technology, where a micro lens is applied onto each mini LED light source to help improve the energy focus. Now essentially, this tech increases the luminance angle while keeping the TV thickness as slim as possible. Now for the same number of zones and without requiring a thicker model, TCL is suggesting that we'll see a 33% increase in concentration angles and a 210% increase in light control precision, which means that we'll get less of a halo effect where the light bleeds around bright objects onto a dark background. Now they've also said that this tech will provide significant improvements to the overall image brightness and contrast. Now of course this tech sounds great, but we know it all comes down to how it actually performs in real world tests to see how big of an impact it has on performance. And plus, until we see the specs, we don't know how this will work for different screens sizes. But from what we've seen so far, it's certainly a big step forwards in the push for brightness and maximized visual performance. So TCL have announced four new models, but only their flagship model will benefit from this new Dual 5000 technology. Named the QD Mini LED X955, their all new flagship model is only available in larger sizes of 98 inch and 85 inch. Now admittedly, I would have loved to have seen a 65 inch and a 77 inch model, but hopefully this will be something that we see a little bit later down the line. Now the X955 will also benefit from TCL's quantum dot technology alongside a mini LED panel with their Dual 5000 mini LED tech. So this means that we should be looking at 5,184 dimming zones, which should give a pretty impressive picture quality and draw out even better details. Now, 2,000 dimming zones is what we get from most premium TVs. So TCL are promising really big things with this model. Now, when it comes to brightness, we are also looking at 5,000 nits of peak brightness from this model, which is incredibly bright. 2,000 nits is what the market leaders offer. So 5,000 is really another level. Now, TCL have said that this brightness should mean that we get a more lifelike image with the ability to hit those bright high highlights that you get on shiny surfaces or the sun reflecting on water. Now, of course, brightness is one factor to a good picture and we will need to do a lot of testing on this model to see how it actually performs in real life as nit rates and spec can only tell us so much, but I can't deny that I'm very much looking forward to seeing if this can live up to the hype. 
The X955 model is also promising enhanced performance in other areas. So firstly, we're looking at a 98% DCI-P3 color gamut, which can produce more than a billion colors for a more vivid and lifelike picture. Now this TV is also powered by the brand's AIPQ processor 3.0, which depending on the content you're watching, will look to improve the contrast and picture quality in real time. Now this latest version of their processor also uses AI algorithms for optimized clarity, contrast, HDR support, colors, and motions. Now TCL have also used a third party tester, TUV Rhineland, who have certified this TV for its realistic visual experience. Design-wise, this looks like a very sleek model with a slim design that will sit flush against your wall. Now we're also looking at a bezel-less full screen design with up to 98% of the screen filled for a more immersive experience. Now the screen itself is a low reflection screen so we should get reduced glare and this model is TUV low blue light and flicker free. For the gamers out there, we think this will be a solid gaming option with 144Hz VRR, AMD FreeSync Premium Pro and Dolby Vision Gaming but we're waiting to see how many HDMI 2.1 ports this model will offer. Audio-wise, we're looking at 160 watts of Onkyo audio and a 4.2.2 channel solution with left, right, surround sound, two subwoofers and two sky sound channels. All in all, this new premium model sounds very promising and it will look to compete with some of the best in the market, but I do need to get it right here in the studio for testing before giving my verdict. TCL have also announced the C955, which is a new mid-range QD mini LED model available 98 inch and 85 inch, as well as a more accessible 65 inch. Now this model will offer a step down in performance, missing out on that new dual 5000 tech from the X955, but it still promises a pretty impressive 2000 nits of peak brightness. We've still got the latest AIPQ processor 3.0, a nice slim design plus 144Hz VRR and AMD FreeSync, though we do step down in audio performance to 120 watts and 2.2.2 channels of Onkyo audio. The next model down, the C755 or C805 in Europe, is a more affordable QD mini LED model available in a much wider range of screen sizes from 50 inch all the way up to 98 inch. Now this model offers 1300 nits and in the 65 inch we're looking at around 500 local dimming zones so still a very decent mini LED picture quality. The final model announced today is in TCL's words the world's most affordable 98 inch TV, the P745. Now as seen today TCL are clearly in the mindset that there is a big market for larger screen sizes and they offer a wide range of options when it comes to QD mini LED TVs from 85 inch up to a massive 115 inch. This P745 will be a slight step down in performance and a 4K UHD TV but for those looking for a more affordable large screen option then this still ticks a lot of boxes. It's got an AIPQ processor 3.0, HDMI 2.1, 144Hz VRR, Dolby Vision IQ, DTSX, HDI 10 Plus and more. As with all of the models that I've covered today, no prices have been announced yet, so word is still out on this being the most affordable 98 inch, but we are hopeful that this model will offer a good balance between performance, screen size, and of course budget. TCL also made a number of other exciting announcements today, including a teaser for their new soundbars launching next year with two Atmos soundbars set to be released in the first half of 2024 and two Raydan soundbars due later next year. Now, one thing that we were interested to hear was about new advancements via their partnership with Dolby with the reveal of Dolby Atmos Flex Connect. This is set to launch on TCL TVs in 2024, so we're not quite there yet, but it's promising upgraded performance for those using wireless speakers with their TV for an upgraded Atmos experience. Flex Connect will leverage acoustic mapping to find each speaker around your space and work to deliver an optimized sound performance. Perfect if your room doesn't work for a typical speaker configuration. Again, this is something that we're really keen to test out as it's always tricky advising you guys on the best speaker placement as not everyone has the perfect layout and space. So any advancements in tech to help with this sounds good to us. Of course, TCL don't just offer TV and audio tech, and they've also addressed their ongoing emphasis to offer more sustainable solutions, and they've unveiled new advancements in other tech areas too, which are all focused on a smarter and healthier lifestyle. From their NXT paper phone to their Rayneo X2 glasses, TCL have had a lot to share, so let us know if you'd like us to cover tech like this in a future video. All in all, it's clear that TCL are looking to push ahead and are certainly making impressive advancements in both the TV industry and wider tech. Now, for me, the field is opening up when it comes 
comes to the best brand to buy your TV from. And each year, the competition is getting fiercer and fiercer for the best models. Now, you're always gonna have some people who are brand loyalists and will only buy the latest models from a certain brand, but for those simply looking for the best each year, then it's great to see that we have so much choice. Of course, the best will look different for each of us, being best price, best bang for your buck, best brightness, best technology, the list goes on and on. But of course, a lot of testing does need to be done before we share our thoughts on where these new TVs sit compared with other models in the market. But I am genuinely looking forward to getting my hands on that new X955 QD Mini LED and testing out TCL's dual 5000 technology. But what do you guys think? As always, let me know down in the comments below your thoughts on TCL's news and comment which models you'd like to see us review, as well as any head-to-head -head comparisons that you might find useful. Thank you guys all very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.